Welcome back to my channel. Miss Peggy here. In case you didn't know, I'm in North Texas. If you did, all the way to your house from my house. I love y'all. So welcome back to my channel. Miss Peggy here. Sitting here in North Texas eating my Doritos. Drinking some Coke. And enjoying my day. I hope y'all are enjoying your day too. But I won't sit here and munch. This is not a mukbang. A mukbang. But thank you so much for the sodas. And thank you so much for the chips. <clears throat> I'm enjoying them. They're really nice to be able to just grab a snack. So, excuse me, I get short of breath. <laughs> but today is June 23rd, Wednesday, Thursday. Today's Thursday. And, um... You know, I have some good days and I have some bad days. You know, I'm taking this Berlinta. And the shortness of breath is not as bad as it was because when it first started, uh, I had a hard time getting from the bed to the bathroom without gasping. Then it went from, I can make it from the bedroom to the living room, sit on the sofa and have to rest. Now, I've got to where I can make it from the bed to the kitchen. Now, I have to sit down before I get my hot water in my coffee cup and put it in the microwave. Um, I have to sit down in the kitchen and rest for a second. And then I'll put it in the microwave and uh, start the timer. So... It is getting better. I'm getting to where I can walk a little further and a little further. So I'm up to 15 foot now. <laughs> so that's a good thing. Um, but I was uh, wanting to talk to y'all about the subscribers. Um, you know, y'all watch other people's YouTube channels and y'all are subscribed to them. And um, Y'all have those uh, subscriptions on your YouTube channel at the bottom. You know, you can click on your subscriptions and you can uh, look at the people you subscribe to. Well, I have that list just like y'all do. And um, the other day, I sat down with my tablet and I went through those subscribers because I had one that had passed away. And it had been over a year since it, they passed away. So I was going to remove them from my subscription list since they had passed away. And while I was doing that, I found like four people that I had subscribed to that had passed away. And um, you, you just don't really know what happens when they stop making videos until... Um, somebody else comments on it or somebody makes a video on their channel to let you know and um two of them that comes to mind that i i really watch is jan carson and she does cooking and recipes and stuff mostly but she also did some grocery haul videos and uh phyllis stokes and she also did um, uh, cooking recipes and stuff. And, you know, I guess we all Google recipes. And a lot of times they come up to YouTube channels of people that on a regular basis do cooking videos. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm just surprised that I had four. And I, I've got a couple of more on there. And I don't... Um, unsubscribe to their channels because they haven't been passed away that long and I'm trying to wait and see if somebody else picks up their channel because Phyllis Stoke she did recipes and stuff but she had talked to her son and her son um, is in the military and um, he's a 
captain, I think, but he is uh, still, he's a lifer in the military. He intends to retire from the military, but he does the videos now from his mother's channel, and I just think that's great. So, um, you know, it's like some of them just stopped making videos, uh, like Camo Dave. You know, uh, he just uh, did survival stuff, and he he um, camped a lot, and um, he uh, made videos in his house about oh I don't know a, a lot of things happening in the world and stuff. And I just liked Camo Dave, so I watched his channel too. And uh, he passed away, and uh, nobody knew uh, what happened, and he just quit making videos, and then. I read a comment somebody had posted that he had had a heart attack so then I knew what happened to him but you know uh, we miss our youtubers um, like uh, my YouTube button here when I first started making YouTube videos I met um, Amanda Berkeley and she's from the UK and she commented on my videos uh, they don't even have dollar generals in the uk but she was always watching my videos and commenting on my videos and um so we became friends and she sent me this youtube button from the uk and um i, I was, i'm still real proud of it i try to wear it uh sometimes i forget to wear it when i make my videos but uh that's where this came from her name is Amanda Berkeley and her YouTube channel was um, I can't even remember oh uh, Mandy's magical moments and that was her YouTube channel and um, her mother had a YouTube channel prior to her having a YouTube channel but anyway Amanda's quit making videos now and I sent her a Christmas card and I haven't received anything back and I just don't know um, what's happened to Amanda but um, I, I pray for her and I, I'm hoping that she just stopped making videos and she's fine but you know we just don't know what happens to our friends that we meet on YouTube because uh, when they stop making their videos, uh, communication just stops. So um, I just wanted to put that out there. Y'all put in the comments um, a YouTuber that y'all have watched that no longer makes videos or um, you know has passed away or something. So uh, we pray for their families because um, you know. They're part of our family too. Everybody on YouTube, subscribers, uh, YouTubers, we're all the same family. So um, it's sad, but I just wanted to mention that. And then, um, are you ready for July the 4th? Drum roll. We got one week and counting. It's my birthday weekend. And this year falls really special. And it reminds me back in the days when I worked the factory. Back when I worked the factory, um, if my birthday fell on Friday, I would always try to get a vacation day on Friday for my birthday. And then I'd be off Saturday, Sunday, and then Monday is the 4th of July. So that would give me a four-day weekend. So... Um, I know that a lot of people probably throw in my birthday as a vacation day so they too can have a four day weekend. But um, me knowing my birthday was um, four days from July the 4th, sometimes I would put in for my birthday uh, in January as soon as they'd get the new calendars in because holidays and stuff fill up fast for people at work that want to uh, get off a, a extra day for Christmas, an extra day for Thanksgiving, or an extra day for Valentine's or whatever, we throw in our vacation days so that we can have those extra times. So y'all tell me in the comments, do y'all use your vacation days to throw in at holidays so you get extra time off at work? 
reminiscing about back when I worked the factories because I, I built uh, uh, memory chips for computers. 25 years I did that at three different companies and I was always a lead, a trainer, uh, research and development or something like that. So I know a lot about computer chips. Um, that, that was my thing when I worked the factories, but um, yeah. So I took up all y'all's time, but I wanted to do some comments uh, today. So let me see if I can pull up y'all's comments because I want to uh, respond to some of those and talk to y'all about the comments. I love y'all's comments. I spend a lot of time, I lay on my bed and just read comments and uh, push love and like. Um, I, there's so many of them, it's hard for me to comment on each individual one, but I try to if it's a question that needs an, an answer to. I do try to. So, okay, let's go to my comments. Okay, and the first one, 16 hours ago, is from Ali Mira D. Um, Dambora. And it's just very good, hearts and hearts. Oh, and then Jennifer Stomberger. Hey, Jennifer. Um, lie, the little black kitty is more tall and feet than anything. Well, I don't know what you mean about that. Um, the little black kitty is more tall, oh, more tail and feet than anything. Yeah, those little kitties, sometimes they do get long legs. Especially if they're going to be long-legged adults. They come out with them long legs and they do. You ought to see that little black kitty. And he uh, wants to be tough. He'll turn on his side and he'll rear up and arch his back like he's just mean. <laughs> he's no bigger than this. You know, it's just funny to watch him try to be a big kitty. But thank you, Jennifer. And Valerie Acton, great to see you feeling better. Pretty kitties. Yeah, you know that there's a lot of kitties right now, I guess because spring, but um, we usually don't have that many kitties around. We don't have that many cats around, but for some reason, I got extra right now. And Valley Acton, hello, Valerie. Uh, great to see you feeling better. Pretty kitties. Thank you, thank you. Teresa Brand, hello, Teresa. And thank you for sharing. Love, preferably you have a God bless day. Thank you so much, Teresa. And M M. Happy birthday, Dennis. Yes, happy birthday, Dennis. Um, I think his birthday was yesterday, but um, happy birthday to Dennis. And she loves kitties and paw prints and doggies. Those are so cool. I love emojis. Don't you love emojis? And then Rachel Morgan, so nice to see you feeling better every day, Miss Peggy. I am feeling better every day, and, you know, I just wish I didn't have to take this medicine, but I do. And I just have to watch myself for extra bruises, but um, I checked my INR yesterday and called it in, and it's um, 2.7. So as long as it's between 2.0 and 3.0, I'm good to go. So got to keep that blood viscosity at the right thickness <laughs> okay and then Betsy uh, Sumter good morning Miss Peggy good morning Betsy how are you doing and boondocking with Dennis boondocking with Dennis he's got him a YouTube channel so y'all go over there and visit him good morning Miss Peggy wonderful cats little lions yes they are little lions <clears throat> and they're so cute they make you smile. And Sandy Metza, just lovely. Thanks for sharing. Well, you're welcome. And Patricia Williams, all pretty kitties. Yes, they are pretty kitties. And then um, Meg Hoff, say, I pray for you to become stronger and Robert to become braver with you. Well, um, yeah. Thank you for the prayers, because that's what I'm living on right now, is prayers and prayers. And then Jennifer Griffin. Th hey, Gr Jennifer, how you doing? 
Uh, looking good, Miss Peggy. Praying for continued healing. Well, thank you. Thank you, Jennifer. And then Rhonda Wheaton. Miss Peggy, I want you to take take it easy. Take care of yourself first. The penny stuff will always be there. They're just I just want you to rest and feel better. We will be here for you. My prayers so you feel better. Big hugs. Thank you. Thank you, Rhonda. And then Deanna Morris. Hey, Deanna. How you doing today? Cute little chair. I like that. Sorry you still feeling so short of breath. Hope your first trip back to Dollar General goes well for you when you're feeling like you're ready. Glad to hear Robert is doing better. I haven't been penny shopping much because the car keeps having trouble. I deliver food, so I have to try to keep it fixed. Well, it was good to see you, Miss Peggy. Take care. Well, thank you, Deanna, and I hope your car troubles get better. There's nothing I hate worse than car trouble. You know, other than that, I think it's appliance trouble at your house, like washing machine trouble, uh, you know, stuff like that. So, yeah, well, I hope it gets better for you, Deanna. So, Kim Caldwell... I have a granddaughter that was born on July the 4th, and me and my son, really my, really my nephew, but I've had him since he was pretty much three days old, and now, he, now he's 10. He, he and I share a birthday. I have three children also that turned 27 on the 14th, and my middle child, my daughter, uh, my daughter will be 26 on June 29th, and my youngest daughter t just turned 21 on the 6th of April. And then my bonus son will be 11 the 20th of September. <coughs> Happy early birthday, Miss Peggy. We love you and appreciate you. Thank you. I got a week till my birthday. <coughs> to get a drink i better leave a lid off that so thank you kim <coughs> and you know speaking of that you got a lot of birthdays between june and july we do too it's my son's birthday is june the 5th my birthday is july the 1st and my daughter's birthday is july the 30th so every 30 days my son's birthday, then mine, then my daughter's. But then, like I said, I got another son, and his birthday is in December. <coughs> right before Christmas. So that gets us all excited for Christmas, having birthdays. And then Kathy McKittrick. Only penny I found was a Reese's Puffs in the bag. Found one of them on the top shelf. And you said, look high and low, so I did. You know, speaking of right now, I didn't post it, but I saw this uh, today. Uh, there's some Oreo cookies that surprise Penny. Now, they're not regular Oreos, and they're not peanut butter Oreos. They're specialty Oreos, and I'm not sure what kind of celebration they are on them, but they are a Penny. And also, we got a lot of cigarettes that are a Penny. Now, I don't know anybody that smokes cigarettes. I've, I've checked high and low today, and um, I only know one person. I take that back. My sister-in-law, Jay. <coughs> and I texted her this morning and told her, and she's like, well, go get me a bunch of them. I'm like, you know, Jay, I'm housebound, man. I can't go nowhere because of this medicine, so you're on your own. I'm just telling you about them. They're a penny. If you want them, go get them. But, you know, the, the penny cigarettes, there's a whole bunch of different ones, but they're behind that locked thing. you got to get the person at the register to unlock it, and then you got to stand there and sort through them and hope they don't get mad. So, um, yeah, now, if you're interested in the cigarettes, go over to Christie's. Uh, connection because that's where I saw it today was she had them on on her dot um, com website 
So, uh, Kathy McKittrick, can you drive yourself? If so, it might work pretty good. You know, um, I can drive myself, but Robert's not letting me out of the house. Every time I talk about <coughs> going around the corner to get a soda or something, he's like, no, you're not. You're not. <laughs> and he'll end up going. But... I'm working on trying to get out of the house, but uh, Robert's standing guard, and he's he's not going to let me. He's afraid I'm going to get shortness of breath at the store, and he's probably right, but um, one of these days, I'm going to escape. <laughs> and Kim Caldwell, uh, glad to see you here on here and missed you. Well, thank you, Kim. That's so sweet. And Henrietta Oppenhammer Streety, good morning, Miss Peggy. That's a great idea. I'm thinking that you should tell your doctor that you need a walker uh, or on wheels with a seat. Continued blessings. You know, I do. And, um, you know, I've been using this wheelchair because I don't have a walker with a seat on it. But that's really what I do need when I'm... Uh, if I get back to penny shopping and I'm dealing with this shortness of breath, whatever, it doesn't matter, a wheelchair or a walker, they're both they're going to be a lifesaver, right? Because when I took that wheelchair to the doctor's office, I didn't sit in it, I pushed it. And um, I never did get shortness of breath, but I walked slow with it. And um, I put my purse in the seat of the wheelchair, and when I went through the door to see the doctor, the nurse says, Oh, you got a wheelchair just for your purse? I was like, yeah, basically, that's what I've got. Uh, Shauna Gaddis, Gaddis um, how neat is it, the cane seat? I think it's perfect for you. You know, when you need uh, it, just don't over, over, don't overdo it, Miss Peggy. We love you and care for you. Well, you know, um, that... Um, cane seat um it is a good idea and i couldn't resist but to let y'all know i've got that because like i said the cane seat a walker seat uh, the wheelchair with the seat um that's how i'm getting around <laughs> and gabby goods hi gabby how you doing hello i'm sorry i have missed a few of your videos so i'm trying to catch up on your videos well thank you so much gabby and then Gabby Goods also says, nice car. It's such a gorgeous car. Congratulations. That is so exciting. I'm so happy for you all. I'm going through your videos to see if I missed any. And I had missed this one. Oh, well, thank you, Gabby, for binge watching them and catching up on them. I appreciate that. Um, And you know, speaking of my car, that's a Buick, and uh, it's a beautiful blue Buick, and it sits under the carport, so it never gets sun, and it's always in the shade, so that helps the paint job stay looking good, even though that car is, um, well, I made payments for six years, so it's seven years old, because it was last year's model when I bought it brand new, even though nobody had owned it. It was last year's model, so it's seven years old. So it is, and I love that car. <clears throat> it's such a smooth ride, and it is a Buick. It doesn't look like a Buick, but it is, and I do. I just love it. And I was really planning on trading that Buick in when it got paid off for the last four years. I only had it a couple of years when I decided this, but I wanted to trade it in for a pickup truck. Because it seemed like everywhere Robert and I go, somebody needs a pickup truck or we need to haul something that needs a pickup truck and we never have anything to haul it in. So I have to scrav scavenger around to find a friend that has something that we can uh, haul something in, a dresser or whatever it is. So, yeah, and then when it got time to pay the car off, the economy got so bad and, and the cars got so expensive it's like, um, well, I guess I'm not going to be trading in my car anytime soon. So 
I guess I'm just going to go for the 10 year mark because usually in my life I have bought brand new cars and I keep them and drive them for 10 or 11 years before you ever start having any car trouble. Um, I don't know, I've, I've had three brand new Mustangs. I had a, a brand new uh, Mercury Bobcat. I've had um, a brand new Dodge Journey and every one of them from being brand new um, as long as I had payments on them I never had any car trouble and then the ones I kept 10 and 11 years I was the only driver so they lasted 10 years before they started having any trouble and you know I really enjoy not having car trouble so thank you Gabby And then Gabby also says, I'm sorry that you're going through this. That's crazy not being able to leave the house. I haven't been able to leave the house either because I had some teeth pulled and I get dizzy and have lost my energy in a rough situation. Well, my goodness, Gabby, you have been through a lot. So my prayers are for you too. I'm going to be praying for you. And then Pamela Brooks. Hey, Pam, how you doing? Um, just be careful if you get really lightheaded and had to sit down quickly. I'm not sure if you would be stable enough. Good luck and be safe. Well, Pam, you know, all I'm, all I'm getting is shortness of breath. I'm not getting dizzy at all. But um, Robert's not letting me out of the house, so you can feel comfort about that. Um, he sits in the living room and unless I get up in the mornings and I go to Dollar General at 8 o'clock in the morning that's the only way I'm going to get out of this house because he ain't going to let me <laughs> he is not going to let me I've already hinted and, and talked and he's like nah, nah, nah. <laughs> not happening so yeah it's going to be you know even though I talk about when I get to go it's not going to be next week and it's probably not going to be the week after that so I'm I'm stuck here and then Amy Hartzell she said she likes nacho doritos and if your insurance would pay for a walker that has a seat you could also carry a drink and other stuff if you need it would be better with one of them safer for you yes it would be safer for me now uh, i'm getting a lot of comments about you know be careful and i need to uh get a walker and stuff but like i said it's not going to be next week or the next week it might even be another month before i get to go penny shopping but i'm making me a list and i'm keeping up with the uh stuff that has penny the brown dot and all the appliances and stuff and i know by the time i get there they all be gone but i'm still gonna pay attention to the pennies every week keep them in my mind so when i do get to go i'll know what i'm looking for so that's the most important part so this has been almost 30 minutes so i'm gonna do just a couple of more and then i'm gonna call it a night Oop. Okay, well, it cut me off, so I'm just going to do another couple of ones, and I'll call this a night. But y'all keep commenting and let me know. I love that little seat, Peggy Mowry, with a cane. It might be just the ideal thing to make things easier. I will be keeping you in my prayers. And then Esther Johnson. Hey, Esther, how you doing? And then the chair is a great idea. Take it to the dollar store with you. Woohoo. You'll get there faster. Yes, you know, um, I'm definitely going to be taking that with me um, because I do not want to get in there and can't find anywhere to sit down. Because before I had my, um, my high blood pressure spike that found the aneurysm, you know, I had a high blood pressure spike and I had to go to the ER. And that's when they found the aneurysms when they did an MRI and stuff, trying to find out why I was having high blood pressure. So anyway, the week before I had 
gone to the ER for high blood pressure. I had a high blood pressure spike at the Dollar General at 9 o'clock in the morning, and I got dizzy and kind of felt like I might fall. So I did sit down on the floor. I sat down on the floor um, over by where they keep the paper plates and the napkins for the parties. Um, sat on the floor there a good five minutes or longer, and nobody even saw me. There was nobody in the store. The cashiers and stuff were at the front. I could hear them talking, but nobody even saw me. So when the dizzy spell went away, I got up and continued on and didn't think nothing about it. But the next week is when I ended up in the ER, and that's when they found the aneurysm. So I'm lucky that I had that high blood pressure spike and that um, they found the aneurysms. And then Esther Johnson says, you think you would be able to look at the check, check, look at it and check out for the CT scanner something and not having to go back up there. I'll be praying over that you don't have to do that again. Well, you know, I, I thought they were going to do a, a, a MRI or something and look. And all of a sudden, now they want to go up there and look. So I don't know, you know. Um, they told me two different things. So they told me once that I could get the MRI and do it. Now they're saying I got to have the procedure to do it. So I don't know, Esther. We're just going to have to wait and find out. But thank you so much. And Dolores Valdez, looks like a great invention. Thank you for sharing and bless you. Thank you, thank you. And Valerie Acton, hi Miss Peggy, the seat is cute and very handy, but give yourself a little more time and don't go alone. Continue prayers for you both. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Valerie. And um, I probably won't be. So Sherry Addy, God bless both of you and don't give up. And don't give up. That's the most important thing. Keep positive. And then Cheryl No. Cheryl No, she lives in Florida. Hey Cheryl, how you doing? And she says prayers and hugs. And then Cheryl said, That cane seat thing doesn't look all that sturdy. I would feel better if you had Robert take you uh to one store and use the wheelchair. Take it slow, Miss Peggy. Love you, Miss Peggy. Well, thank you, Cheryl. And yeah, you know, I'm gonna take it slow and you know, like I've already told you, Robert ain't going to let me out of the house. And um, he's been doing all the shopping and all the groceries and everything. So I love this little butterfly. I don't remember who sent it to me, but whoever do, did, thank you. I love that. So I'm going to let y'all go, and I'll see you back in a couple of days because we're going to be getting a penny list in just a couple of days. So um, if you don't find something this week, we always got another week coming and another penny list to look forward to. So, I love y'all. Adios from North Texas and goodbye from Cowtown. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye now. <laughs> uh.